In the previous videos, we were controlling our position and scale, and in this video we'll cover rotations and origins. So I'm going to move our playhead position back to zero, and I'm going to drag on a new asset onto the canvas. I'm going to click and drag the ghost on, and like everything else, I'm just going to scale up the asset key so it's visible for the full length of the sequence. I'm going to do this by right clicking and hitting stretch asset key. So still at frame zero, I'm just going to use the transform tools to scale them up a bit. I'm going to hold shift so that it scales relative. And to tidy up the canvas, I'm going to toggle the visibility of our player asset off so that we can just focus on the ghost. And you can see now the ghost is the only thing visible on the canvas. So with rotation, we could use auto key and we could simply move the playhead and rotate using the corner transform tools on the canvas. And you'll see that when I move the playhead, it rotates. And we have a rotation parameter track with two keyframes already added. This is fine, but I'm going to delete these and add specific values. I want to make our ghost do one full rotation. So to do that, I'm going to stamp a keyframe by toggling this keyframe icon of zero degrees where the playhead is at frame zero. I want to make him do one full rotation, so I'm going to drag the playhead to the end and simply type in 360 into the rotation value box here. I'm going to hit enter. And when I play this, you can see that our ghost does one full rotation around its origin. Now, if you remember back in the first video, when we were setting things up, we changed the sprite's origin, which is reflected here, where these handles are in the middle of the ghost. You can see that the rotation spins around this. We can actually change this inside of the sequence editor if we want. To do that, we go up to the transform toggle mode up in the top right. I can select the drop down here and choose origin. You can see on the ghost asset, we now have an origin icon. I can simply click and drag this wherever I want. So I'm going to move this up to the top left. And now you see when I play this back, our ghost rotates differently. That's because it rotates around the origin. So I can toggle on loop to make this loop round in a full circle. Or I can ping pong it to make it play backwards. I'm just going to turn the visibility of the other asset on and we can see that we have multiple things animating on the canvas at one time. And that's it for the basics of our transform tools and how to record and make simple little animations. The key thing to remember is to use auto key to record any movements on the canvas or changes in the track panel at the playhead position.